Here with me tonight is Ant and Matthew, who are the directors for the web series Four Quarters. So, first of all, congratulations on having your web series selected. Thanks. Is it exciting? Is it? Yeah. Look. Yeah. That's that's great. <laughs> So this web series is stories about AFL and kind of the fans yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, look, it's, it's basically it's about four blokes who, who are mates, have been mates for ages. And, you know, for a long time they've gotten together at the pub after the weekend's football matches and crapped on about footy and giving themselves shit and giving each other shit and that sort of thing. And, um, yeah, how it's sort of like, you know, that all develops and stuff so one of the main sort of elements of, of the series is that it wanted to be topical in that so that we wanted to talk it went for a 10 week period um, back dating from grand final day for 10 weeks so on the Sunday night there was a there was a sorry there was a series arc to it but on the Sunday night the riders would be frantically writing about the week, the games that had happened that weekend so we'd arrive on set 6 a.m. Monday morning, finish shooting 3, a 3 p.m. and the series would be on air 3 p.m. on the Tuesday. So you tried to make it relevant to what was going on? It, it had to be relevant because if it... around you could have for a like, you know, getting six to eight minutes of dialogue on screen. It's like we're shooting, you know, six to eight minutes of dialogue is quite a bit of shooting time. We had to get the editor on set at about midday so he could start cutting it. And then, you know, like, yeah, the next day it's on air. Wow, quick turnaround. So where did the idea behind Four Quarters come from? Don't know. Just originated out of thin air? It's just, yeah, well. So it came from like a couple of young writers in Perth. So yeah, two, two really clever guys in Perth that sort of came up with the idea of the series and um, wrote the whole thing and um, and spent their time on the weekends watching the footy and coming up with that extra dialogue that we needed to have. And they were great. Yeah, there's, there's sort of a lot of footy shows out there, but this one was really trying to integrate uh, a footy show but with drama. So it wasn't just about, you know, three people sitting on the couch, you know, crapping on about the, the footy. We want to kind of integrate sort of love stories and people punching each other and losing teeth and, and, and super tattoos and along with a little bit of footy that had happened that weekend. So if it wasn't topical, but it wasn't relevant to anybody that was wanting to watch it. There were footy players involved that uh, quite a few people got excited about. I had to be told who they were. I did. Uh, um, so for some of the scenarios that kind of went on during the series, particularly the nudie run, that was incredibly funny, did you draw on any experiences that you've had hanging around with your mates when you finished footy as inspiration? Uh, well, I've done a few nudie runs before, so I sort of drew on those you know, embarrassing nudie runs of my own. The, the bad thing was the demonstration of the nudie run, I wasn't happy with that. That's fair. It was still funny for everyone to watch, I will add, because I did watch it. Um, can you see yourselves making a second season for it? I think it's still kind of in the, you know, there's still up in the air where the second series is going to happen, I think. There's, there's talk about maybe even doing it in the States, maybe doing it here. Look, the ice skating series is being written now, so we're excited about that one. So would, you, would you ever star in one of them? The ice skating one, look, my skills need to be sharpened up. And as good well fun, good fun. You know? I'm not demonstrating any nudie runs on skates. Definitely not. That, that might be a little bit dangerous. Well, thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me. It was very Thanks. interesting and funny for everyone else to watch and kind of get an insight into what's going on. Okay, fantastic, thanks.